Around 6.30 in the morning, we have a courier, a van, who has gone around the Commonwealth to different sites, picking up samples that have been collected by the DEP field staff, whether that's for drinking water, wastewater, streams, air samples, or soil samples. The work in this building assures that the air that you're breathing is clean, the water you're drinking is clean, and the stream is clean. And if it's not, it's information that our environmental professionals can use to monitor and help to clean it. We are one of the best state environmental laboratories in the country. There are many different ways that we use high technology to produce a good quality data. We need to make sure whatever number or data we provide is evaluated and verified had different organizations come through and they're really impressed with the lab. It's not something I think about and I don't think it's anything that people think about until you hear it. And then you think, wow, we're doing something. We're doing something big. We have a bacteriological lab where we provide microbial services to our clients. We also have a plankton laboratory where we ID algae and plankton types that are indicators of water quality. And then we have a protozoan lab. So to ensure the safety of the public, we have a very active monitoring program where we determine if the drinking water is safe or the beaches or the pools are safe for uh, taxpayer use. This is the trace metals lab. Metals like iron, and aluminum, lead. Different metals can have different detrimental effects on our health. So it's important to know what the concentrations are. Our radiation measurement section is one of the largest state radiation laboratories, particularly on the East Coast. The gamma detectors, we have 10 of them in-house, and what they do is they measure any type of gamma radiation that is potentially out there. We accept samples from collectors who work for the different programs, such as oil and gas, um, Bureau of Radiation Protection, Watershed, and we accept any water, air filter, milk, um, vegetation, fish, and we get those samples in and we analyze them for any type of radioactive decay. We monitor the samples around the five nuclear power plants in Pennsylvania. We're also prepared for emergencies, whether there would be an emergency at one of the nuclear power plants or a terroristic threat. We look for what we would call volatile and semi-volatile organic compounds. That could be uh, solvents, say from a dry cleaner, if those got spilled, or petroleum products from a fuel spill, we also look for pesticides and herbicide compounds that might be from runoff from a golf course or from agricultural land or use. We analyze native caught fish samples from the waters of Pennsylvania. And we use the information to create eating advisories. We also have a mobile lab. We have a total of four mobile labs. We analyze air, water, and soil with those laboratories. This instrument is a tandem mass spectrometer which enables us to do a real-time air analysis. We can actually be analyzing this, this instrument as we are driving down the road. The goal of all of this work is to protect human health and also the ecology in the state of Pennsylvania. The objective generally is to help those who break the regulations, who make the laws. We provide them with the information they need to make those decisions. I like to think that it's public health through protecting the environment. Ultimately, our goal is to protect people. To be honest, I sometimes think that chemists get a little bit of a bad rap in terms of the environment. They're seen as people who 
damage the environment more than help it. And so what I really enjoy about this job is that I get a chance to practice chemistry, which I enjoy very much, and also help the environment. Pennsylvania is a beautiful state. And to keep that beautiful state intact and the health of our Pennsylvania citizen is very important for me. And with, uh, with my background in chemistry, I know that I can make a difference. I just know that what I'm doing is important and I want to do the best that I can do because not only is it a reflection of me, but I feel it's, it's going to be going out into the public and people could be relying on this particular piece of data. Pennsylvanians should know that we have an excellent state environmental laboratory that does testing day in and day out by highly professional chemists, microbiologists, and laboratory assessors to assure Pennsylvanians public health and that we're protecting the environment with sound science to make important environmental decisions.